what is going on guys welcome back to the channel so i did want to make a video today going over something in test drive unlimited solar crown now this is also going to have to do with the newsletter number six as of making this video we have not gotten the seventh one yet hopefully we will soon i mean the other one i do believe was in december so we're already in april i would think hopefully by may we may end up seeing another one and do not worry because i will be posting a video on that one or at least going over stuff in it now the one thing i did want to touch on from the newsletter six is going to be the live events the reason why is i really do like the idea of this so for example this is going to say in hong kong island new temporary activities appear each week which give you access to exclusive rewards and mouth-watering sums of solar coins now there is going to be a few different versions of this and the reason why i like this idea is well each week they're actually going to change and it will be a big reason to bring a player back you know similar to like a summit in motorfest or um now i have to think of something else in another racing game let me know if Forza Horizon has something like that. I don't play it. May end up getting into that game here in the near future. But looking at that right now, with let's say, for example, the crew or even Need for Speed Unbound, which currently doesn't have that many events in there if you are looking for it to bring you back into it. And a great example of this, though, is going to be the Summit in Motorfest because a lot of players are most likely going to jump in weekly and be like, oh, okay, so I have this reward here. That vanity looks dope. Oh, look at this car. Like, it almost gives you a reason to actually jump on and do it. So I do feel like having something like this in any game is very very important and hopefully future games may end up adding more stuff that is like a weekly basis but now the one thing I do want to mention though is I do understand that the newsletter number six did indeed come out around three or four months ago so I wouldn't say it is a new thing and a lot of players have most likely already looked over the newsletter but I was looking through this and I was like wait a second some of these actually do sound pretty dope and especially having like a live event having that on a weekly basis even if it's against other people is going to be a pretty awesome way to make friends or you know test out cars and race against other people trying to climb that leaderboard pretty similar to something like a summit in motorfest now the first one here guys is going to be the lifestyle battles it's basically going to be races where you are going to go against the streets and the sharps during these challenges, each clan tries to impose the vision of luxury of racing in the Hong Kong Island or on the Hong Kong Island. There are going to be five different types. The instant challenge, win the most instant challenges. After that, we have the frantic spender, you know, spend the most money. Shouldn't be that hard to do in a game. And the next one, though, is going to be the earn the most SC in the frim, which I'm guessing that is like a game mode. Not really sure what the frim actually is. Then we have the betting challenges, win the most SCs in instant challenge bets. So I would say a lot of these smaller challenges are going to be a good way to actually interact with players or, you know, jump into some of these challenges and try to beat them and try to become the best. And I feel like having some of these things in a game obviously is something we need. But now the one thing I did want to touch on real fast here is let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. If there is going to be, you know, the main events actually rotating weekly, which is a great design. If it is mainly going to be focused on multiplayer, which, you know, looking at the newsletter... Pretty much the entire game is going to be heavily focused on multiplayer. Would you guys actually like seeing this stuff only going against people? Or would you actually like to see some of these events actually being against AI? Which to be honest, I would almost guarantee we are most likely going to see something in the game with AI. Like the entire game is not going to be only PvP. They most likely have to have something. At least that's the way I am thinking about it. The next one though is going to be the hotheads. Time attacks are randomly selected to become hothead races each day in the Hong Kong Island. Players need to achieve the best possible time and climb as high as possible on the leaderboard. By the end of the day, the amount of solar coins you earn depends on where you finish. So something like this kind of sounds like one of these summit events where you are going against other people in that leaderboard. You have to pretty much get like the highest time in it or at least compete going against all the better players to get a higher time in that event. And then on top of this though, based on your overall finish, you're then going to get solar coins. So it's probably going to be a great way for players to actually compete against each other. Like, wait a minute, bro, you beat me this time, but I will beat you tomorrow in that one. Or like, I will beat your time on this event or something like that. So I do like the idea of it. The last one here is going to be the high stakes. Just like the hotheads, time attacks are randomly selected to become high stake races. When an event becomes a high stake, a new target time is set. Participants get three chances to try to beat the time. They all 
also need to pay an entry fee for each attempt. The entry fees are then added to an overall pot and then split among the drivers who beat the target time. Now I would actually say something like this is going to be a pretty dope design, but one of the questions I do have is let's say there is going to be 20,000 people in it and all 20,000 people actually beat the target time. So does that mean the money gets like split up to everybody in it or is it going to be like the best players overall, like the top 100 or maybe the other way they do it is let's say there's going to be 20,000 players ranked in it. Maybe they only pick the top 5,000 and then like everyone gets their money from there. Who knows? Honestly, time will end up telling here, but the big thing, guys, is only having three tries on this is the biggest thing. Like, we all do know you can have three terrible runs and then boom, you are most likely going to be lower in the leaderboard and you can't fix it. So at least if you have one good run, you can actually hope that you might stay higher in like the leaderboard itself. But either way, though, I am pretty dang excited to actually try out some of these activities in Solar Crown, even though we still do not have a release date. Hopefully soon we might end up getting one or at least, you know, the newsletter number seven might end up coming out. And I did want to mention though, on top of that, they also did have people test out the lifestyle battle on the closed playtest number two, which I would say is always going to be a great thing. Like let people try out the game modes, see what everyone thinks about it. Also, let me into the playtest. That would be incredible. I would love to try out Solar Crown or at least some of these game modes. And I do know I'm probably not the only person right now that is going to be a bit anxious. Like, let's see more of Solar Crown. Let's see the newsletter number seven. I really cannot wait to actually jump into this game. Or, you know, give us like an initial release date for the game. That would be wonderful. Overall, though, guys, let me know your thoughts on this entire live events thing in the comments below. And do stay tuned, though. I'm thinking about going over more of the newsletter number six. And I will definitely be covering the seventh one when it actually does release.